Happy Thursday, Flyers. Today is April 29th, 2021, and this is a Flyer Sports Report. The lacrosse team played its final game of the season on Saturday against Magnet. The Flyers fought hard but fell short of the win with a final score of 10-4. This loss knocks the Flyers out of playoff contention, ending the season. Thanks for an exciting season and good luck next year. As the baseball season winds down, each game matters more and more. Here's Maureen Roberts to give us an update on the baseball team. The baseball team is headed into the Division II playoffs as the number six seed. They will take on Evangel in the best of three series beginning Friday at 6 o'clock at Cicero Field. Game two will be Saturday at noon, also at Cicero Field. The Flyers have already played Evangel four times this year with each team winning twice. In the most recent game, the Flyers beat Evangel 15-2 at Evangel on Saturday. However, the Flyers will be without the service of junior catcher Peyton Thomas, who suffered a hip injury in that game. Loyola's pitching staff is led by John Shardar, who is 9-2 with a 1.24 ERA and has already beaten Evangel twice. Shardar is also the leading hitter with a 379 batting average. Other 300 hitters are Nathan Lorette, Sam Swalk, and Noble Means. Swalk leads the team with 22 RBIs. The Flyers are 17 and 14 overall and are looking to advance to the quarterfinals with a series win over the Eagles. The tennis team heads east to Monroe to compete at the state competition held at ULM. Be sure to give them your support as they try to take state. Good luck, Flyers. Making his sports report debut, here's Will Rayburn to give us an update on the track and field team. Congratulations to the girls team for finishing third overall at the regional meet with a total of 72 points. Aaron Campbell, Bridget John, Kate Fortune, and Emmeline Drummond were first place in the 4x800 relay. Lauren Lindsay was first in the 1 and 2 mile. Emmeline Drummond was second in 300 hurdles, Aaron Campbell was third in the 800, and Aiden Hurd was third in the 1 mile. The boys team finished fifth overall with a total of 57 points. Tyler Hornsby, Daniel Boggs, Cole Adair, and Trip Romer were second in the 4x800 relay. Trip Romer was second in the 1 and 2 mile. Max Crofton was second in javelin. Daniel Boggs was third in the 800, and Warren Graves was third in the 1 mile. All have qualified to compete at the state championship next Friday at LSU. Here's what head track coach Sherrod Lewis had to say about the meet. Extremely proud of uh, our effort last night. We put up a lot of points. We were third in the girls division, fifth in the guys division. Extremely proud of Lauren for being first in the one and the two mile. Just looking forward to next week at state. So we have a good group going. Just trying to put up as many points as possible just to see if we finish in, in 3A. The golf team competed in the regional tournament on Wednesday at Stonebridge. They played well and qualified for the state tournament held at Karen Crow. Keep up the good work and good luck at State Flyers. That's all for this week's sports report. And for the final time, this is your host, Whit Davis, signing off.